previously on Mass Effect. Welcome back to Mass Effect. So, uh, on the last episode, we we uh, we got Garrus, we got Rex, we encountered Tali, who gave us evidence that Saren is gone. Well, he's gone rogue. He's working with the Geth. Uh, yeah, that was basically the whole last episode in a nutshell. Today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter, only because I'm uh, a little pressed for time. Uh, I want to get some stuff done on the Citadel before we continue on with the story. We're going to do this again, and we're not going to fail it this time. See, there we go. That was just for some general stuff. I'm not sure if it leads to a side quest later. Uh, but let me look real quick. What do we have? Uh, where are they? Journal. So these are the assignments we have on the Citadel. Uh, that's... yeah, that gave us another quest. Report this request, you found an OSD containing information about... Okay, right, I know where some of these go. So we're going to do some of those today. Uh, it is going to be a, a considerably shorter episode, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, I do apologize, but yeah, I'm pressed for time, so... Right, we're going to talk to this guy first. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Alright, over to the expensive bar. So there's only a few quests that you're on the Citadel for now. Uh, we'll come back to the Citadel multiple times through the story. And there's always more to do. More people to talk to, more quests to do. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, let's talk to Executor Palin. This is, uh, Palin, whatever. This is the, uh, the council member, Victorian, whatever. Commander Shepard. I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind, forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. 
the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. I've known plenty of dirty CSEC agents. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. What I don't understand is, okay, he's part of the Council. He talks about the Council like he's not even on it. But he's one of the people on the Council. He is in partial control of the Spectres. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Batya is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. That was nice and easy, though I felt like Shepard was all over the place with his emotions. Alright, we got ourselves another keeper here. I uh, should check how many that is. Let's have a look. Journal. 13 out of 21. So another 8 to go. And the bartender here can give you information. We're not going to need that though. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very Okay, she's a quest later. Don't believe the rumors. What do you want? Oh, commander. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I uh well, she's an Asari who works here as that is she helps people with things. <laughs> You've never been, have you, boy? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. I don't know why I did that. I know where she is. <laughs> All right, so let's go give uh, Mr. Bartia the good news. And then we'll head to, I think maybe we'll go to... The, the wards. Oh, I forgot about it in here. Don't want to talk to you. Got another keeper there, number 14. You can get some EXP from that. Human delighted well Shut up. Yes, yeah, so we'll give him the good news. I think. Which way? Was it this way? I don't even know where I'm going anyway. Yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll head to the wards. Go to Cora's then. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I know, I always like doing that quest. It always made me feel good. I don't know why. It's just a nice quest. 
Right, let's go to, we'll start a chorus then. I want to, I want to like, I want to apologize, first of all, for the, um, my audio levels in the last one. I feel like they were really, really high. I don't know why my mic must have reset itself and I didn't notice until, until afterwards. I'm sorry if it sounded, uh, weird. <laughs> right, where's, uh, Septimus? That's not, that's not him. There he is. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me! ME! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet! Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. You might remember the Elcor he's talking about first episode, well, second episode, sorry. Last episode. Ah, uh, he was one of the first things we talked to when we got to the uh, Citadel. Uh, this is another quest. Later though, damn it, I thought it was right now. Alright, talk to them, nope. Okay, there's Harkin. I don't remember if it was Harkin or Septimus. There used to be a, a glitch where you get infinite Paragon or Renegade points. You just keep doing the same dialogue options. And it would just keep adding on more points. Now they've since fixed it, so... Uh, there's no point. But let's see if I can talk to Harkin. Go away. Okay. We don't care about Harkin anymore. Right, now we'll head to the markets, which are out here. Because there's at least two quests to do there. We have to deliver that disc we found in Cora's Den. And we have to... Um, yeah, this one right here. Choban. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? 
we were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Well, got a lot sorted out that all that um, misunderstanding. Now we can we can buy stuff here, but I don't really want to. I don't really like buying from here, and you'll probably you'll find out why later. Uh, oh, another quest right here. Is that really? Wow, it's you. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Ah, Conrad Venner. He will show up a lot. I think he even shows up in Mass Effect 2. So there's always that to look forward to. Another keeper. It's the, what, 15? I don't think you want this here. Uh, I don't no. Nope. We Where is... I think it's over here. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Freaking love it. Love this game. It should be. Where is she? There she is. Emily Wong. Commander Shepard? I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Now, I feel like this is a missed opportunity. Um, in Mass Effect 3, I know we're not there yet, but in Mass Effect 3, there's a reporter on your ship, and she's played by Jessica Chobot. You don't know who that is. I I believe it was IGN. I know she still works for IGN. Um, they should have just ignored that idea and gone with Emily Wong. She's a character that pretty much gets established here right now in this game. And they could have carried it on. No, we can't dance yet. Eventually you get to dance here. Uh, there's another quest here, I believe. Right here. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. So you remember that barmaid I talked to in Cora's Den? That was her, that was her sister. 
So I need to go back there. Um, oh, another keeper over there, number 16. These, uh, you can actually gamble on these. Actually, I'll demonstrate it right now. Uh, in the quest. Let's do the let's do the low stakes one for now. Let me show you what this is. Okay, play. You bet twenty credits. Uh, let's add one eight. It's kind of like blackjack. You've got to get a number closest to, but not over. Four to seven. One eight. One eight. Come on. There you go. So I got 20 credits for that. So I paid 20 credits. I won 20 credits. I'm good. Break even. Quit. Let <laughs> me look at the rules though. So yeah, 14 or less, 0. 15, 5, 16, 10, 17, 20, 18, 25, 19, 30. But if you go 21 or more, you get nothing as well. So you've got to stay under 20. Fun well, little game. Not, not something you want to spend a lot of time on. There's no reason to. Even if you're achievement hunting, I don't think there's an achievement related to, uh, to that game. Why are you racist? Okay, uh, let's go to... I think we can just go to Cora's Den first. Since we're down here. Citadel... Uh, yep. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go to Cora's Den since we're already in the wards anyway. So, wards... Cora's Den. And I think from here that takes us to CSEC. And then from CSEC we'll go to the embassies, and from the embassies we'll go to the Asari Consort, and then I can't think where else. There she is, is Jenna. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. Okay. You think, oh, well, I haven't really done very well, though. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. I love how you and your companions following you there sometimes. Chip into the conversation like they're actually there with you. Not just following you around. It's, it's nice little details. Alright. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Take this to CSEC. Um, right. We need to go... I think it's down here. Maybe it's the other way. It's the other way. That guy Chalik that bumped into us, he... He's actually an undercover, undercover cop. He's the one that got Jenna involved in all this. It's down here, I think. No. No, it's not. Oh, I'm getting so lost. It's this way, and then take a left and up those stairs. I think. Yeah, yeah, it is okay. Oh yeah, we'll talk to um this guy first, Jalid. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But, well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. 
I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Okay, easy enough. And then Chalik is in here. Detective Chalik. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chelik. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, Maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, you know what I should have done before I talked to him? I should have put my points in. Oh, well, it wouldn't have made a difference, actually. Hmm. Because I couldn't do a charm option then. Kind of sucked. But I guess while we're here, we'll put in some points. So we'll unlock sniper rifles, and we'll put some points into that. Because we're definitely going to need sniper rifles. And then we'll put another point into uh, assault training. And then for Rex, auto level up. And Garrus, auto level up. Skip talents. There we go. We'll worry about equipment later. Because since we're not going into any combat anytime soon, we don't really need to, to worry about it too much. Right, now we will head... I think where's best to go. Ooh, I, gu I guess we'll go to the embassies, like I said. We'll go to the embassies, then your sorry consort, then back to the markets. So presidium locations, embassies, click. Right, so it's in here, and over this way. I hope I didn't mess up the quest. Uh, last time I did that quest with Jenna, I had that dialogue option available. I don't remember, I don't know if there's a difference. Like the outcome or not. I guess we'll just see. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. There should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, you- Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the I don't think we need to go to the consort now. Let me double check. Thought I did, but yeah, I I don't. So I th oh, do I? I do. Damn it. Okay, I'll go there. Then I'll do the mission for Chalik, and then I think that's all we have time for this episode. Uh, I don't know if I should finish the rest off street, uh, off recording, like off screen. Or not. Uh, I guess you guys let me know. I'll put a reminder at the end of the video to let me know. But we'll head over to the console. I wonder if I can just fast travel. I think I can. Mm, yeah. Go 
go see Shaira. Go out the way, I don't need to talk to you. I can just walk in whenever I want. I'm Commander Shepard. I don't need permission. Sometimes it's fun to just stand around and listen to the, like, overhear their dialogue. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. To be honest, I... Words, oh, I guess she gave me some money. They will give you strength. I was gonna say, if that's all she gave me, this trinket, she doesn't know what's for. So she gave me junk that she can't figure out what it is. And she, she gave me words. That's very useful. Just give me air from my lungs next time. How about that? Right, we will now head over to the market. Finish this quest. So glad this fast travel. All right, uh, I believe they're down here, where Chopin was before. Yeah, there they are. Hold it. That's close enough, army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass. Ooh, good fight. Ooh, this might not have been the best idea. Garrus is down. And we got a damn Krogan to deal with. Alright, um... Shotgun. Shield boost. Go. I thought I, thought I equipped a shotgun. Oh, by gosh, by golly. How is he not dead? How? How am I missing? Thank you. It's okay, Rex. You'll be fine. I I'm just glad the, uh, <laughs> the Krogan's down. Uh, he just used something. Whoa! Jeez. I used to have health. Slowest firefight ever. Let's uh let's try this. What? That should have killed him. Pop your head up. He's waiting for shields to come back, isn't he? There's no other well, I guess I can maybe run to the like that. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, Rex. What's that? Move. Uh, what abilities do you have? Really? You don't have any? You already used warp. Attack. Attack him, Rex. Attack him, Rex. Have more 
Okay. Woo. That was risky. Risky, risky, risky. Get up, Garrish. You fell down at the first shot. <laughs> I really need to upgrade you more. Alright. So I think we did that. Oh, I don't think Chalik's going to be happy that we killed him. But I do believe we got the X mods anyway, so... I'll be too unhappy with that, Kenny. Uh, I'll put my weapon away. There we go. Let's go back to Chalik and uh, end the episode. What? Chalik. Right, right, I remember the way to go this time. This way. Up. Left. Second door. So yeah, if you guys want me to just do the rest of the missions here um, off screen, let me know before Thursday, because that's probably when I'll record next. Uh, but if you if you actually want to see them, then I'll, I'll I'll put them in. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Jacks needed killing. Here's your shipment. Damn it! I've got to get on this right away before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready. Oh, that's the first, yeah, look at that. Renegade plus nine. That's the first time I've done that like that. <laughs> and uh, I don't think they appreciate it. I don't think Chelly really liked me doing that. But anyway, that is all I have time for this episode. I, I apologize once again for those of you who are looking for that nice hour-long episode. But maybe this will be a nice little, um, little, little taster of what's to come for next week. Uh, I guess on the next episode we'll carry on the story a bit more and we'll we'll find out what happens with Saren and all that really fun stuff. But until then guys, thank you for joining me today. I will see you later this week with another episode. But until then, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.